Hey everybody, so today I want to talk to you how about how to do a weekly bone reading for yourself. Um, I am going to refer to this throughout this video as a weekly bone reading, but you can really do it for any time period that you wish. For example, you might want to do this reading at the beginning of the calendar year for a yearly reading. You might want to do it on the first of the month for a monthly reading. Uh, you can do it for... Um, let's say a season as i film this video it is currently the second day of autumn 2018 so you might say okay this reading is for autumn 2018. um you can also do it for let's say you're in college or high school and you can say okay this reading is for my senior year of college or my sophomore year of high school um, you can do it for any time period you wish as long as that's in your mind when you're doing um, the reading. The only time I do not recommend you to do this reading for is on a daily basis because um, it just might be a little too much information or to take in every day. Also in my last video on the bone journal I had talked to you about how to do a daily bone reading by pulling one bone and meditating on it and writing down um, the information that came to you in order to build up your um, correspondences for each bone. The Now, the only exception to that is that if you have something that is happening of importance on a certain day, you might want to do this reading. For example, you're going to sit down with your significant other to discuss your relationship. Maybe you're going to propose. Maybe you're going to ask them to... Um, move in with you, or maybe you're going to just adopt a cat, I don't know. Um, maybe you're going to have a meeting with your boss about your career. Um, maybe you're going to meet with your um, doctor about your health. This would be a good day to do a reading like such as this. Um, but again, I'm going to just refer to this as a weekly reading, and I'm going to present it to you as that. So, you're going to want to start off by doing some type of ritual. Now, and again, in my last video on the bone reading journal, I recommended you to do a, um, come up with a bone reading ritual because it will act like a trigger to put you in the right frame of mind for performing your readings. A simple, um, ritual can consist of setting out a white candle for illumination, uh, setting out a little shot glass of clear cool water for clarity. You may want to light some incense. You may want to take a little psychic vision oil and put it on your hands, rub some on your third eye, but you're going to be you're touching those bones, handling your bones. Um, they're also the the smell is going to act as a trigger as well. And we know that science tells us that our sense of smell is the one closest tied to memory. So smelling that psychic vision oil can also be like a psychic tr trigger to put you in the right frame of mind. Um, then you're going to offer up a prayer to God, your ancestors, your guides. And this could be the same prayer each time, or you can tailor your prayer to what you're asking about or just simply say something from the heart each time you um, do your reading. So, on to your reading. So, you're going to take your bone bag or your bone basket and shake it up and with your time period in mind, you're going to pull out four bones and you're going to ask yourself four questions and these four bones are going to be interpreted in relation to those four questions you're going to ask yourself. The first question you're going to ask yourself is, what is my theme for the week? What is the predominant or prevailing energies working around me? What opportunities am I going to be presented with to learn, and to grow, and to evolve spiritually, or to evolve as a human being? And you're going to interpret that bone in relation to that question and then you're going to interpret all your other bones in relation to that first bone right so your second question represented by the second bone is what if any energies and forces are going to work against me this week now i want to caution you that when you interpret this bone to do not automatically assume that whatever this bone represents is something outside yourself for example, let's say you pull the evil eye bone, which represents jealousy. So, 
humans can often be their own worst enemy. So it may not be a jealous person um, directing negative energy at you. It may be your own jealousy of another person's blessing. For example, if you're looking at John Brown over here and you say he's got a nice car and a beautiful wife or a beautiful husband and he's making lots of money and you've got, you're focusing all just energy on John Brown and his blessing and you're totally missing your own blessings over here, right? So where, so when you go to interpret that second bone, don't automatically assume it's something outside yourself. Now onto your third bone, you're gonna ask yourself, what if inner, any energies and forces are going to assist me this week? What is going to work for me? What is going to help me deal with this theme and move forward? Um, again, this may not be something outside yourself. It could be something inside yourself. And it could also be the fact that, say, one of your virtues, for example, people say patience is a virtue. So the bone may be telling you to exercise patience this week. Um, but sometimes there are qualities we have that are considered negative, which can be put into a positive light. Let's take um, stubbornness, for example. Sometimes stubbornness can be a negative trait in that you are inflexible. You're not able to open up your mind to see other points of view or reach a compromise with someone. But sometimes stubbornness can be a virtue. For example, let's take um, Rosa Parks. She refused to give up her um, seat on the bus to a white person and help spark um, the civil rights movement. Now, some people might say her stubbornness there was a negative trait, but it could be also argued that it was a positive trait because her stubbornness, her refusal to give up that seat helped bring about all these opportunities for not only herself, but other people, okay? So your last and final bone, your fourth bone, it represents the outcome. Where am I going to be at the end of the week? Will I have learned my lesson? Will I have failed to learn my lesson? Um, Will, will I have grown? Where, where am I going to be at the end of the, the week? Now, that is your weekly reading right there. And um, you can tie this into your daily reading by um, paying attention to the bones you pull each week. So let's say, for example, you do your weekly reading on a Sunday. And this reading is for Sunday to Saturday. And then you're gonna pull your daily bone each day. So let's say it's now Wednesday and you pull uh, a bone out of your bone bag and this happens to be the bone that was in your weekly reading and represented your theme. Well then you know something important is gonna happen that day because you pulled the bone relating to your theme. Uh, if you pull the bone relating to what's going to work against you, again, something significant is going to happen that day regarding what's working against you. So pay attention and act accordingly. For example, again, if you pull the evil eye bone that day, then again, whether you interpreted it as someone outside yourself or something inside yourself, um, you're going to act accordingly. So let's say, for example, you said, okay, this represents my own jealousy. When you go out into the world that day, you're going to see other things and you're going to be mindful not to be jealous of other people's blessings. You want to focus on your own blessings, okay? All right, so that is your weekly bone reading. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you practice it and please feel free to share this video across your social media platforms. Don't forget to like it and have a great week everyone. Bye.